Ah, winter. Winter is coming. <laughs> it's not too bad actually, since I swapped out my levers, I say swapped out, the zip broke, so I had to buy something and textiles were cheaper than new levers. So I bought a lot of dry star, alpine star stuff and Gore-Tex uh, gloves. I kept my super tex, couldn't be bothered to buy boots. My feet will never really get cold. Uh, they get a little bit wet, very, very rarely if it really showers, but not too bad. Um, really good stuff, really. Um, still about the same level of protection, realistically, minus the abrasion side. Um, just good stuff in general. Keeps you so, so warm. Um, I very, very rarely get cold. I get a little bit chilly every now and again. Sometimes my fingertips get a little bit of a chill, but that's about it. Um, and they're on like sort of the coldest of the UK days. Um, so yeah, good stuff in general. Um, so I know a lot of you have been requesting a sort of video of me on my own bike. Um, I try and mix up the footage, I try and put, you know, bits in of, of first rides and, you know, all other stuff just so that it's not the same, same sort of stuff on the channel. I want to, I want to, you know, mix up the footage with different, different bits and bobs really. Um, and I get bored of seeing my own bike, if that makes sense. Um, I feel that the footage of me on a 125 is quite boring to watch. So I try and limit it. <laughs> um, but the purpose of today's video is, as always, a little update on the project. Um, and, you know, for this video, it's going to be a talk about the, the sprocket difference. Um, now I was I'll start off really quickly by saying that the project bike is finished. It's finally finished. Um, all bar a bit of paintwork, which I'm going to collect or get some paint now um, from a local, I say local-ish paint shop um, in Canvey. Got to get all my stuff for that bike down there, really, all paintwork stuff. Um, I'd say if you, if you need any powder, powder coating stuff done and you're near Canvey Island, definitely go check out JP Polishing. Um, really, really nice bloke. I just brilliant brilliant stuff um, and it doesn't cost a fortune it really doesn't a lot of people think oh, I'll just spray paint it with black paint just get it powder coated if you can you know if it's obviously if it's plastic you can't but you know if, if you can get it powder coated it's the false economy a lot of the time thinking that your black spray paint is gonna gonna be cheaper obviously it's gonna be lesser quality um, out of a spray can generally speaking um, and it won't last as long as powder coating will so you know a lot of the time it's like five ten pounds if that more uh, sometimes it's even the opposite way around. Sometimes it works out more expensive. And um, that happened with a couple of bits on the project bike, and I sort of after a while I thought, oh, I wish I'd have just taken it to get it powder coated. Um, you know, turnaround doesn't take that long. It's a lot less ag for yourself, and like I said, majority of the time it's cheaper, if not, you know, a couple of quid. Just silly, silly amounts more, um, and it's really worth it. You can see it's really worth it once it's done. So definitely check him out. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's not got a website, I don't think. Um, obviously, he's got his address and stuff on there. Give him a call. He'll help you out. He's an absolute golden chap. Um, but yeah, so I'm just collecting, just going to go get some paint. Um, paint up the last, well, the last thing. Um, and that's it, it's done. It's done. Um, nearly a year it's taken me. I think it's, I think it's about eight months, so, you know, it's, it's a fair while, fair bit of money, but it's been a labour of love and I've really enjoyed it. Um, to the point where now <laughs> I don't know what to do with my days when I've got time off. Um, I just, you know, I just melt on the couch all day eating food. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to do. Um, and of course, you know, the weather not being particularly favourable, I don't really go out unless I have to. So, you know, that's, that's the majority of the time how I spend the days. Um, but, yeah, back, back to the actual, the vlog side of it. Um, so obviously that I changed the sprockets over um, and I went, you know, minus one on the front. Um, and you see, you see the, the comparison. Um, I don't know if I'm just shit at launching <laughs> on this particular bike, or if that was a, a genuine, um, if they were sort of genuine times. Uh, and that's the sort of maybe the difference you should expect. Um, now I will say, obviously, I don't know how long I've had it since, before uploading that video and vice versa, but I've been riding with it for a while now. Probably about a month, I think. Maybe a bit over a month you know, sort of a couple of hundred miles a week, roughly. Um, so I, I'm sort of used to it now, but I will say for the first couple of weeks, it was really enjoyable. 
Um, it just felt like I gave you a little bit extra punch and it was it was really fun in my opinion it was really really fun and it was worth it um, as I said I've managed to obviously since then redline it um, and it does redline at about 83 85 in sixth gear um, which is a touch over the red line I kept forgetting in my video that obviously when I when I used to get sort of like 90 95 out of this bike I was over the red line I'm usually about eleven and a half thousand before you hit the limit with standard gear in um, in sixth gear so, yeah, it does a little bit more than 80, but not much. Um, but that's the only real difference um, in terms of, obviously, we're at top speed. Um, obviously, it does limit some of the speed by like five or ten miles an hour you get in each gear. But it just feels more rev happy. It just feels more enjoyable to ride. Um, as I said, obviously, I'm so used to it now that it just feels like this is, this is what it is. Um, but certainly before going from obviously this uh, the standard gear into this gear and this one feels a lot more enjoyable really does and it's worth giving it a go for seven pounds um i mean obviously it'll make a difference to to the adjustment of your chain slightly so if you've got a really knackered chain i'd probably say just change them together um as you should anyway you should really be changing the chain change the sprockets with it um that's what i did my chain was knackered so i thought oh, i might as well give it a go seven pounds for a new front sprocket uh change it out and you know that I'm going to have a bit more fun um, so I did that and you know the main thing I was worried about was you know not being able to do much over 70 um, now with this engine it doesn't really pull much over that realistically a lot of the time um, it will but it just it's, it's not as quick as my older engine in all fairness you know um, so I wasn't I, I'm not really missing out on a lot you know if I went on my on my older engine and um then swapped over, then there would be I'd, I'd be missing out on you know majority of the time about 10, 15 miles an hour. Um, whereas this really doesn't, unless you really really hammer it, it doesn't really get much over 80 miles an hour. Um, even with the standard gearing, um, could be just due to the fact that it's got a lot less miles, so a lot less internal wear. That's what a lot of people reckoned caused my other engine to be so um, <laughs> so much more powerful in terms of other 125s um, I mean jokes aside you know it was fucking quick for what it was uh, and I didn't do anything to it you know this is the same setup same exhaust system same spark plug same air filter everything's the same um, there's no difference realistically and you know this is this, this is what it does um, I don't know a lot of people thought it was the weight difference between the newer shape because a lot of the time in my videos I was racing the newer shapes um, or a lot of people compare it to the newer shapes but you know obviously that isn't the case because this is what I'm working with now and it you know it's it's no it's not as quick as the old one was um, so you know it is what it is at the end of the day but um, in terms of like a straight answer do I think it's worth changing over definitely if you if you're not gonna miss um, that, that extra 10 miles an hour you know realistically speaking if you don't get much over 80 miles an hour out of your one change it you'll have a lot more fun on the bike if it was a lot more rev happy you get better generally speaking you get better um, outcomes from clutch up wheelies in first gear when I say clutch up not really a clutch up it's just a pop <laughs> and rev the tits out of it um, but you get a little bit more of a better reaction out of the bike um, you know nothing major I'm not nowhere near the best person at wheeling a bike in the world um, but it, it just it's just more fun in general it's just more fun it feels more rev happy it feels more responsive it's just a good laugh and you know it's, it's like seven quid and it just makes the bike feel different it makes it feel nice and new again so if you're getting bored of it you know for seven quid give it a go try out something a bit different um, it's, it's re it really is worth it in my eyes um, I'm trying to think of other stuff really um, I think I think that's covered it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, in each gear, you, you don't really notice it unless you're side by side, and then you notice that they're changing up a gear a few seconds after you are. Um, but it just feels, I said, it, it just feels more fun to ride. Um, now, for me, I'm fairly used to this. You know, I can't see. I remember someone saying last time that they're front facing. I think they are. Um, 
Then my luck, I'll get fucking caught. But, um, yeah, so the project bike's done. You know, the A2 project bike is, is finished. Um, and I couldn't be happier with it. Really couldn't be happier with it. Obviously, I have rode it a couple of times. Um, and obviously, I, I may be slightly biased because I spent a lot of time and a lot of money on it. But in my eyes, well, obviously, the whole reason of me buying it is because I, I fought that. Um, but I personally think it's probably one of the best A2 bikes you could get. Uh, and of course, like I said, I'm probably going to be slightly biased because, you know, of, of the of it's my bike, you know. Um, but out of a lot of stuff I've, out there I've rode, it's fun. Um, and it, it ticks all the boxes for me. That's the main thing. It, it, you know, if you if you can sort of relate to what I what I like, you know, and, and things like that, then I think it'd be a good bike for you. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say what bike it is. Um, and maybe that's a slight hint, you know, you can see out of, if you go back and watch my videos, you'll see what bikes get, get more reactions out of myself, what bikes I enjoy more. You're going to generally find out or, or have a bit of a gauge on what the bike is. So that's, that's a bit of a teaser. Um, but it's going to be, it is going to be a few months, a fair few months before the bike's revealed. Um, purely because obviously I've got, to, I've got to get it on the road, you know, it's not, um, obviously I haven't done my tests yet, I can't do them just yet. Not long. Um, yeah, and then obviously, like I said, I'll probably spend a month or so riding around on it. You know, not that I need to get comfortable with it because, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not hard. It takes you about an hour or so once you've been riding for, you know, the length of time. Um, you know, it's all, it's all more or less the same sort of thing. Um, but, you know, just to build up a bit of footage and, yeah. You know, just, just get a little bit comfortable with it and then I'll start uploading, well obviously I'll upload the reveal um, and then I'll start uploading, you know, regular vlogs on that bike um, and you'll probably get more frequent vlogs on that bike as opposed to other like first rides and stuff like that purely because it'll be new um, and it'll be a lot more enjoyable footage to watch I think um, you know, like a lot of people you go online and you'll watch you know, I used to watch vlogs all the time and you watch vlogs of bigger bikes and it's more enjoyable to watch because they're just, they're more no, they're more powerful so they're just more fun to watch people try and thrash them um, you know at high speeds and stuff like that it just, it's just more enjoyable footage in my eyes you know um, more engaging I guess that's just my opinion on it um, I could be wrong but you know generally speaking if someone's you know like Max Wrist for instance thrashing the hell out of a litre bike around you know the Mulholland I'll, I'll watch that a lot longer than I'll watch myself riding around you know Essex on a 125 um, talking shit <laughs> but that's just me you know that's just you know one of them things um, so I think you know obviously yeah it isn't an S1000 or a Lear bike so yeah, it isn't, isn't that enjoyable but um, you know it's a, it, it's a hell of a lot faster than this put it that way and it's a lot more enjoyable and it sounds a lot better again in my opinion so uh, yeah you'll have to uh, you'll have to keep an eye out um, and it'll be plastered all over social media, so uh, as long as you follow me on everything, you won't miss it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll probably leave it at that for this one. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you if you feel a little bit bored of your one, give it a go, basically. You know, especially if it's not achieving that much of a higher speed than 80-ish miles an hour, you're not going to be missing out on a lot. Um, and it, it will, it really will. It, it just feels more fun. Um, and it does make it feel like a bit, a bit of a different bike for a while um, in terms of how it responds. So, you know, just give it a go. Give it a go, definitely. Right, so I'll sign off on this one, guys. Um, you know, everyone stay safe. Fucking weather's getting shit. The roads are getting shit. There's just crap all over, oil and fucking damp, rotting leaves. Um, you know, it's, it's certainly not bike favorable road conditions. So, uh, Keep your wits about you.